Hello everybody and welcome back to the Milo Farms channel. Obviously we're not at the farm today, we're up in McCall. Uh, we have a nice cabin that we're staying at, Ponderosa Park, that we rented for the weekend. Um, right now we're at the Activity Barn in McCall. They have snow tubing, as you can see behind us. They also have uh, sled dog rides that are over on the other side. Uh, they have refreshments and uh, we just finished snow tubing, had a great time. Um, it wasn't a bad deal. It was two hours of snow tubing for $18 a person. It was a good deal. Um, it's a little bit rainy today and now kind of starting to snow, but uh, we had a great time. What do everybody think? This is our cabin that we had for the weekend here at uh, Ponderosa Park. This is the elk cabin. Um, they say it'll sleep uh, eight all together. Um, we'll give a tour in just a minute of the inside of it. Um, it's right on the lake. You can see here the lake is right through the trees there. Um, you can get through there easily. There's paths that go down there. Then there's other cabins around here. And then you have the visitor center right across the way. Very accessible to everything. The cabin was $130 a night in the off season in the winter, and then you had to give them a $100 damage deposit that you get back if the cabin is not damaged when you leave. And we'll go inside and take a look. So the cabin's got two levels and a little kitchen, dining room, Restroom in the back corner here. And on the first floor, it has one bedroom with a double bed. The bed comes fully with all the sheets and everything on it, but when you get ready to leave, as we're just getting ready to leave, um, you have to dismantle the bed and put everything in the laundry bag. And then upstairs, it has a futon, which could sleep two people. And then it also has another double bed. And then downstairs, it has a hide-a-bed or a couch that turns into a bed to sleep two more people. I would highly recommend the cabin here at Ponderosa Park for the price. It was a good deal. Um, cost just about as much as a hotel would cost. And you have the whole cabin to yourself. The uh, parking is very accessible, just about 50 yards from the cabin, and there's a trail to get to it. Uh, come summertime, these are a lot more expensive, I've been told, and they're always filled up. It's very hard to get uh, a reservation at one. So we're going to be taking off, headed back home in a little bit, and we'll be seeing you next time here on Milo Farms. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Any questions you have, comment below. We'll answer them.